Good girl, good girl. We'll go right now, okay, I promise. Let me put on my shoes. My favorite way to go on a walk is to listen to Tana Mojo's Uncensored podcast the whole way. The time flies by. If you haven't listened to that podcast, <laughs> It's good, um, and she posted a new episode today. She was slacking. I think it was like a two week span since the last one. Tana, if you're watching, step your pussy game up. I missed it. There's a new one today, so this walk is about to be so lit. Hey, 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 we're gonna go. I saw her in LA, and she was like, I was like, I love your podcast. She was like, yeah, you should be on it. If you're watching, I know you were both me. I know you didn't mean that. I know it's probably what you say to everyone that says they like your podcast, but you know what? <laughs> Thank you for saying it anyways, t -Moj. Not t -Moj. <laughs> It's the t -Moj for me. Love you. my full workout so we started with some deadlifts I'm, I'm getting strong okay this angle is fantastic because I am a professional youtuber and this is a circuit workout so we're gonna repeat a couple of things some jump rope and back to the deadlifts I don't know how much weight this is exactly but it felt heavy to me some front lunges were done I'm not a fan of lunges they hurt in a very unique way oh can we talk about the cheeks for a second these things are called sissy squats and I felt like I was falling the whole time and this workout was hard to comprehend. I did some presses, I was doing them wrong, but luckily it's a group class, so the second the girl next to me did them right, I, I picked up what was putting down. Ken, queen of angles. And this ball throwing, which I personally hated. It was so hard, like that ball weighed so much and it didn't even bounce back, like it was so boring. Then as a class, we did the hit portion of the workout. Honestly, I'm glad this one is in a group setting because half the time when he explains the workout, I forget it. So I can look to the girls next to me and like kind of copy and to cheat. I feel like I'm in class. I could cheat off their work and like remember what the workout is. I almost busted my ass here. And at this point of the workout, after lifting all that weight, I was kind of dead. I was cheating here. You're not supposed to use your arms to hold yourself up. But it'd be like that. These are called uh, skull crushers. And sometimes I do actually hit my head with the weight and it crushes my skull. Some mountain climbers to get the heart rate up. At this point of the workout, I was so tired. This is where I chug my Celsius and pray for dear life. Some squats for the glutes and ended it with some mountain climbers. I'm alive, but I'm dead. You know what time it is? Therapy time. Oh, I love a good therapy sesh, baby. Uh, so last week's therapy sesh was so chaotic. I feel like I have to like just really acknowledge a the therapist and be like, thank you for putting up with our sh because Henny and I went on that call and we were a mess. It was like an intervention style, like ASAP emergency. We need therapy. We were fighting so bad. Like it was not it. We don't have nasty fights. Like we don't, we're not nasty to each other, but it was definitely a moment that needed some professional help. Because when we get in these moments where we're just like fighting, um, the communication skills go out the window and it's, it's not it, girl. It is not it. Yeah, we were fighting and it was dirty and it was not cute. And before the call, we thought we were gonna have to spend like a week apart. And after the call, we had the greatest Thanksgiving night and we were just happy in love. So not the therapist being a literal miracle worker. So I'm just gonna have to get on there and be like, thank you so much for that because you are literally the sh And then I'm gonna talk to him about you know, keeping my mental in check while film, like posting a video on YouTube every day. So far, it's been making me feel really good. Sometimes when a week goes by without me posting a video, I feel like I'm getting like out of my flow and just waking up and filming every single day has forced me to just jump into the flow regardless of how I'm feeling. And then next thing you know it, you're flowing. But what I will say about the relationship stuff, and maybe I'll just wait for hunting for this part because we can talk about it because people always be like give me some relationship advice we've been practicing this technique called mirroring and technically we should have been doing it all along and i i'm blaming that for the reason that we got into such a big fight 
but I'll explain that with him. But we just had such a little moment of miscommunication. It was not cute for anybody involved, but now we're happy and in love. So I need to like sit here and like praise this therapist because thank God for him. He is so iconic. Okay, I'm gonna go. I take my therapy calls in the car because it makes me feel like I'm in a safe cocoon. Okay, come, because I want to talk about this call. Does everybody know I just cleaned the house? Like, is that like a known thing? I forgot thing? to tell them. Henny just went off. I just went crazy. He gets these uh, bursts of must clean everything. I went stupid right now, but sit. okay, go. Oh, it's like a sit down thing? We talked about the fight that we had last week, and he was proud of both of us, basically. Like, he was like, okay, I don't know. Even me? Yes, he mostly acknowledged me, but I'll just read it. He's like, I've worked with you guys for a while. I know this about you guys. This, what we need to realize and what we need to come to terms with is that this pattern is gonna happen again and again and again Literally. and again and again and again. He's like, do you notice that there's a pattern here? Like, and I was like, yeah. It's almost a cycle. It's like just enough time and then tensions rise and then we like, you know, get together. We're like, we fix it, we do this. And then it like resets the timer. And then it's like a timer until we're just like again. And, and then, then we have we, another show and then yeah, we're perfect. And then, and then there's a show, so. Yes. Learn how to fix it, get in the practice of it so it can be fixed fast, quickly, and efficient. That's actually not what he said. He said, we both have to accept that this is gonna happen um, again and again. Like Understood. we just have to be aware that this is gonna happen again and uh, again. That was also my point. <laughs> that it's a pattern, yes. But like basically what he said, long story short, is gonna continue to happen is that you will perceive me as threatening and I will perceive you as threatening. In these moments where you're perceiving me as a threat and I'm perceiving you as a threat, we need to have humility, so we need to be humble. humble. And then we need to be able to assess, do, is the person resourced to have this conversation right now? If not, he said that what he does with his girl is be like, okay, they set a time where they're gonna speak about Got it. So it. we'll talk about this yeah, in three yeah. hours, we'll talk about this tomorrow at this time, but, and then that time has to be honored. Understood. So he said, oh, okay. Oh, shit. So I'm supposed, no, nothing is bad in this conversation. Got it. So I'm supposed to acknowledge the shit out of you. What I did was I asserted a boundary, but he's like, this is what you need to do. You need to acknowledge these small boundaries that don't have a lot of weight or pressure to them so that the word boundaries becomes less scary and not a bad thing. I communicated a boundary to you without realizing that I communicated a boundary to you. I was telling him, I'm like, I really, like, Kenny's so amazing. Like, I told him that it was getting too stressful for me to vlog and whatever and blah, blah, blah. And he respected it, understood you, and partnered with you. So I acknowledge the fact of you for partnering with me around that so that the team can move forward better. Thank you. Um, by the end of day, we have to examine our, our commitments to each other and we have to create a beautiful, magical commitment that we make to each other as kind of like a North Star. Got it. So when there's a bit of a breakdown, she'll say like, do you want to re-examine our commitment? Yeah. And then he's like, no, I love our commitment. And then, uh -huh. you know, we need to sh create a shared vision of the future we get to choose how many years out, if it's three years out, if it's five years out, I, I'm leaning towards three. Ooh, I like those. And then I spoke to him about just feeling overwhelmed with Vlogmas for both of us, but like how we're both excited right now and we're both like, you know, really just ready for it. Mm -hmm. And he said that overwhelmed is what happens when you focus on step 26 and not the next two steps, which is literally what you were saying yesterday. Mm -hmm. And we have to envision ourselves standing at the end and why and how everything feels amazing and use that as inspiration in the moments that we're feeling overwhelmed. Okay. So like when I picture us at the finish line of Vlogmas of December, I picture us with new ways of thinking and creating videos that are less formulaic because we've had to force ourselves to get out of one mind of thinking and maybe experiment with new styles because we're doing it on the fly, things like that. Mm -hmm. I envision us, you know, connecting a bigger, stronger dynamic and bond with the audience through just posting more and more frequently and less thought about videos, that's what mm -hmm. I envision. And then now whatever you envision. Got it. Right now? Yeah. Honestly, a little bit more of a, like, a sense of community within the videos. Because, you know, like YouTube's kind of a cycle. Sometimes it feels like, you know, you put out these videos and then whatever. And then sometimes it feels like you're putting out these videos and you really got like a community, right? Everyone's talking to each other. Like, like tight, like close Yeah, community shit. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. If there's a trillion comments. It's like, okay, this community's tight. Everyone's talking to each other. This is what's going on. This is what's happening, you know? If we're getting more views within the first hour, it's like, okay, then the community's pulling up, right? Everyone's like trying to like watch the video. So like, that's, that's what I think. Beautiful. So we need to also design our lifestyle that we envision for Vlogmas. And he kept stressing this at the pinnacle of that is self-care. Are we working out? Are we eating healthy? Are you boxing? Am I going to my workout classes? We need to 
think about that and have that all at top of mind. So that was a call. I would love to create with you the commitment if you want to do it. Okay, let's do it. So what is ours? Like at the end of the day when she's hitting the fan or it's the best day in the world. Mm -hmm. What do we want to be the constant in our relationship? To make it simple, mm -hmm. you come up with one and I'll come up with one. Okay. I have mine. What? What's yours? Thick slab. Got a thick slab. Mine was like, like partner. Always partner. You know, like at the end of the day, like empire or not, one bedroom or like $10 million mansion is just like it's me and you partnering. Okay, so how do we make this a beautiful sentence? I love that. Whether things are going beautiful or whether it's not, we're going to partner together to either mm -hmm. enjoy the beauty or... Or handle the show. Handle the show. Always be partners committed to each other enjoying a thick slab. If we're not enjoying a thick slab, then we're out of commitment. If yeah. we're not partners, we're out of commitment. Like this That's is a good one. this is what we got. Bada boom, bada boom. Good. Good job. Man. Good stuff. Good stuff. So this is my gua sha facial. It's different from other facials because I feel like most facials is like exfoliating, hydrating, pimple extraction, but this one really focuses on the muscle groups of the face and paying attention to them, working them, and the whole thing is like how do you stay in shape? You work out, so it's a similar concept of your face and the gua sha, of course. So she'll go in with that gua sha tool and gua sha me up, baby. I'd be lying if I said that I know exactly what the gua sha does, but I know that it has something to do with draining the lymph nodes. Uh, but basically, what it does for me, I just feel like my face is super snatched after these facials, and here I look like the peanut butter baby from Vine. <laughs> okay, bye, love you, thank you for watching, vlogmas day, whatever.